Good afternoon, everyone. I am Doc. I am Queenie. I always forget it's afternoon when we do the high noon thing. I hesitate every time because I want to say good morning. Yeah, seriously. It's Mondays are not my day. Yeah. <laughs> it's Monday all, right. all day. I know. I love that. How are you, Queenie? My gosh, this is exciting. We get to do the Chiefs. Um, hello, are you kidding me? What a game. Nail biter again. Uh, I think Patrick is trying to give me a heart attack. I don't know. Totally. Totally. Now that I'm finally into football, he's killing me. So we'll see. But that's super cute. And obviously with the festivity stuff happening, it's almost December. Although we've been celebrating Christmas around here for several weeks. <laughs> yes, we have. We both we both are alike in that we love uh, the Christmas season. So And see the funny thing again, oil and water, you go straight into Christmas music the second it's available. I go straight into Christmas movies the second those are on. And that is so funny to me. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Step there. I need a little more Christmassy background. That's right. So, that looks awesome. That is your tree up, Queenie? Awesome. Uh, yes, my tree is up. Thank you. The decorations are up. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner went uh, through without even the hitch. And the good news is, hello, no smoke alarms. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's amazing. I know. Yeah, it kind of threw everybody off, though, because that's usually like the dinner bell at my house. <laughs> so no. I thought you just had a lot of people that smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. How did your weekend go? It went, it went great. It, my daughter, of course, was home from school, so it was wonderful. And, you know, Thanksgiving was fine. We ate a lot of things that we normally don't. And um, we just hung out decorated the tree on Saturday so ah, fun yeah, yeah fun. Right. I, I usually call it a turkey coma and for some of the things I actually created it was a carb coma so <laughs> it just went from bad to worse yeah yes we had I, a carb I'll tell you what was in it yeah that's not going to work for me at all you're oh, awesome. great oh I know where those are from I just thought of that that's my favorite store remember yeah, I remember that's why I was going to say your trees look amazing but yes those are yeah. favorite stores. No, I don't think I have enough room to, and, and then there's like a price tag on one of them. So I'm, oh, okay. I, I wasn't really good. I wasn't really uh, detail orientated when I took the pictures. Yeah. It's all about staging, right? Yeah. yeah. I think, uh, I think my husband was like, come on, hurry up. We got to buy a drill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> have a look at the trees. <laughs> works. I was noticing, um, since we usually open with a list of our faithful friends on purpose, do you have such a thing today, Doc? I, I, I For the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to welcome everybody generally and then start the first of the year, we'll start with names again. I'm okay. Taking a little break. And I think I know the reason for that. You are without one of your cellular apparatus at this moment. Yes, it's been traumatic for the past. Well, not really. I'm being dramatic. Um, yeah, my phone died on, when was that? Was that it Saturday? It was actually Monday. It was that Monday? Monday. I don't know. Yeah, we got through the Doc and Queenie part with your phone on, yeah. and then all of a sudden, um, I think we were chatting later in the day and gone. And it was dead. It was totally dead. Yes, and I I ordered the same phone because I love the phone, and I just want it to be a four G. But so I uh, had to wait, even though they supposedly rushed it. It's <laughs> it's supposed to be here today. So. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's, I mean, been weird. it's been weird. I like I, I drove one day over to the coffee shop and I'm like thinking, oh, I'll just order it on my app. And I'm like, you don't have a phone. You don't have an app. If you don't, you know, you, you don't have a phone. So and it's it's amazing just, um, you know, how quiet things have been, because I've got a lot of people that text and emails and, you know, that buzzer thing. I always off and, um, you know, I can't I can't like you said here, I go through the list of who just signed up and um, and give a shout out. And I, I don't have access to that. I don't have access to my podcast. I mean, oh my it. gosh, I didn't think of all of those things. Wow. Yeah. So, um, and, and also, um, because it happened so quickly that, um, I, a couple of my clients, I had a difficult time getting a hold of and had to actually go back. I found one client through my emails uh -oh. from like three years ago. <laughs> So, and I, and I emailed her husband, it was her husband's email for some reason. And I emailed him to say, Hey, my phone is down. I, I have absolutely no way of getting a hold of her. Yeah. And, and actually, you know, with the holiday, I guess it was good that it happened over the holiday, but. Oh, well that, that really is actually, if you're going to have to be without it, 
over that season would be lovely because it's a four day weekend and you probably wouldn't have had clients at that time anyway, but everybody's going to need you this week. I guarantee that. <laughs> Yeah, as we recover from our comas. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. And you just see, I, there was, this was a really bad thing, but I'm um, flipping through the TV channels and there was a, I can't remember if it was PBS or something, that there was a doctor on there and he showed the size of our stomachs and yeah. our stomachs are this big and they go, after you do turkey dinner, uh, this yeah. big. And yes. uh, so he even said, moderation, yeah, incredibly good at moderation. And so <laughs> moderation and a little teensy time, at, you know, a little bit long instead of one big meal. Right. That doesn't work so well um, with my scheduling time for the families. And I'm just going, oh, my gosh. But seeing the size of an actual stomach. Oh, I know. Isn't it amazing? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. It's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would love it. Yeah, I, know. I knew I you would love it. <laughs> it's yeah. just so yeah, so um, yeah, no. So it, it, it was it was difficult in some respects without the phone. But on the other side, you know, it, it, I just tried to take it. In, in I don't even know what the words I are. Here. I know the best part of all for you because I I'm sure this is what is happening. Those three little words mean the world to so many of us. You know what they are? Uh, no. Out for delivery. Oh, <laughs> it's like out for coffee, <laughs> yeah. give me chocolate. Let's see out what for, you. for delivery. Help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> you get on your Doc and Queenie tracking and there you go, out <laughs> for delivery. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's the yes. best news of all. Yes, they left at 710 this morning. So we'll see. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Not here yet. <laughs> awesome. Well, I really, I know, um, and think about this with us. We've had a few cyber challenges in the last couple of weeks and um, roll with the punches. It's one of those things because I even called the internet provider and I said, okay, here's the deal. And I'm sure they totally give a rip about the document. <laughs> but I literally said, here's the deal. Why does this shut down? And he goes, um, do you have any idea how many people are on the internet, especially at noon hello? Because I even told him the time. And I went through that whole drill and reset your router, do this, do that. Okay, I already do those things, but it literally is one of those things. The whole planet is surviving by internet right now. And yeah. so he said, we're terribly sorry for the inconvenience, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, it's the real thing. Everybody in the world is on. Uh, I've been on calls. Um, several of the calls that I'm on are not local. One is San Diego, actually, and one is Las Vegas. And all of a sudden freeze and the, the presenter yep. person is even freezing. And then of course the rest of us that are on these calls and I am, it blows my mind all over the world. Uh, it literally is a cyber communication issue. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I was doing instant messaging on Facebook to talk to people and even that it was driving me nuts. Cause you know, I I'd be talking and they'd be freezing or, you know, oh, crazy, okay. but you know, we are spoiled, <laughs> yeah. we are spoiled. but yes. no, you know, for me, it was just, you know, take it in stride. And, um, I have no control. You know, we always talk about that, but really I had no control over when the uh, shipping gods were going to get me my new phone. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a funny thing? We're dependent on so many components. Yeah. yeah. So many components. It's not just a go to the store, buy what you want, bring it home. It's not like that anymore. And it's just, it's the funniest thing to me. Um, it, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's all right. I want to say, what do you think about this today? I think that looks wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was it? What did you say this morning? What was the temperature when, you know, of course. 26. 26. 26. And I just thought, okay, A, what am I doing up at this hour, Lord? Not funny. B, I checked the temperature because why are my bones frozen? I know why. Yeah. <laughs> and even though I have a cloudy day behind me, it was in the seventies there. Actually it was in the sixties and they were saying it was cold when we were there. Oh, I bet. Isn't that funny? But it's one of those kind of things. A bad day in Florida beats the heck out of <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Totally. So, yeah. So anyways, what, what's, what else is new on your side of the, the world there, Queenie? Well, I was actually thinking, quite frankly, about a certain thing that is coming up in actually two weeks from today, 
And we would like to invite all of our faithful friends on purpose and certainly your friends to bring to the table an opportunity to say happy birthday to Doc. Um, I'm not going to let you forget this day, FYI. I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, there's FYI, something yeah. telling me that you haven't forgotten that day. I promise not to. <laughs> and so happy birthday, Doc, is on December 14th. It'll be at high noon also, and so central time. And so if you would like to get on our Zoom with us right here, uh, I'm going to be sending out the Zoom ID and password um, probably the Thursday or Friday before on our group page. So if you haven't already joined the Doc and Queenie group, please do. And then you'll be able to see the Zoom ID. And then we'll be able to do a happy birthday celebration. So you'll be able to hear from lots and lots of people. And so we would love to thank all of our faithful friends on purpose, first of all, for being part of the Doc and Queenie community. And second of all, for um, watch parties. That's the most amazing thing. You're strolling through Facebook a little bit and all of a sudden you see a watch party and it's us. And it's I like, know, it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, but I can't wait to see what the video will look like for the Doc and Queenie birthday party for you, Doc. And so December 14th, high noon central time, please join us on the Zoom and the ID will be posted in the group page. So uh, you can't let this birthday slide by my friend. Uh, I'm trying and I can't even, I can't even give a payback because you know, um, everybody will know, but we could say the next day I could flip it to take cool. the, off the next day. We're doing bingo. Isn't that Tuesday, the 15th at seven? Exactly. Right. <laughs> I can't wait for that. We have a sponsor from Las Vegas and she awesome. gave me a little FYI on what her uh, actual prize is going to be. <sighs> uh, you guys really don't want to miss this. And I think doc, we might want to make an exception for that particular game and we can play too. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think, uh -huh. that, would I think that would be super fun. But uh, Missy is one of our friends in Las Vegas and she is so much fun. And she said, could I this? And I said, oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, it's gonna be a, a lot of fun for people from the Las Vegas area to bond with our faithful friends on purpose yeah. here. And I, I really can't wait for that day too. We've got a lot coming up in December. Yes, we do. What else is going on, Queenie? Well, you know what? We don't mention any names ahead of time because we want everyone to be surprised. And let's see if I can find it on this uh, very slow and patient <laughs> screen for change. Hey, this one? Yeah, that's <laughs> the one I was looking for. Thank you. That was cute. Okay. Okay. There um, we go. We have a guest live tomorrow, Tuesday, and this will be 11 a.m. Central Time. Not going to tell you who, but holy moly, uh, we have had the most incredible ladies so far. And uh, also, by the way, and I believe this is actually true, we are filled through the end of this year. Hello, 2020. Sayonara. Yeah. <laughs> are, Adios. We are filled. Yeah. We are let the filled up. You in the, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. And that's amazing to me um, that so many people have signed up to be the Doc and Queenie guest live. And that's an opportunity, seriously, yes. that lay, the people to shine through with their business, uh, their nonprofits coming up, whatever they have going on, this is the time to shine. And again, Lord willing, we re record it. And then you can take that link and put it all over your social media platforms. So whoever's brave enough to be one of the first ones for 2021, I know, cross our fingers in that whole drill. Uh, be sure and get in contact with Doc or me, and, and we will literally get you on the schedule because it's very cool to see how fast that, that goes. Oh, and gosh, yeah. I did want to mention there's three more spots left for Doc and Queenie Bingo on December 15th, the sponsor. Uh, I think, yeah, there's, uh, the, uh, there's only three. And the reason I say only three is a lot of people are promoting business products. Some people are promoting gift items. It just, it, it's totally up to you what you want to do as a sponsorship gift. Um, we've had coffee cards. Who doesn't L-O-V-E love those? But yes. we have three spots left. And then our next bingo after that is um, January 19th. What is that? Is that your phone? It's my phone. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Sorry. Doctor. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> oh, 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 that's all right. That is so worth an interruption. Congratulations. <laughs> out for delivery. And it gets. Now it'll take me 10 hours to figure out how to put it all together again. Yeah. That's okay. Congratulations. <laughs> that's a very big deal. And you heard it here first, guys. She got her phone. 
no, I, you know, what you're talking about with the bingo and the guest live and all of that and, and it, you know, networking with business, it's a big reach out. It's a good way to build your network. It's a good way to uh, get to know people. It's a good way to build friendships. Networking, of course, first is getting to know people so you can spread the word about their business. Um, and these are all great opportunities. So there's uh, nothing more fun for me than having a network of friends. Uh, they start out as networking acquaintances. Absolutely. You meet someone at an event. I understand that. And then after that, it turns out to be a partnership, a team, a top of mind. And I have witnessed that personally. And um, if someone needs a referral to a, a business of some kind, and I'm able to actually say, oh my gosh, I've got someone that might be perfect for you. Those are the kind of things, first of all, I do feel that the networking piece is so important and it really does work like that. We have um, faithful friends on purpose who have brought forth all kinds of um, networking ideas. They, people go to a networking event, then all of a sudden they say, do you know anyone who does this? And it's back to that same drill. Referrals are so important. And I was actually mentioning that in, um, and this is not a push necessarily, but Michelle Cruz, again, is so kind. And she's been sharing the uh, chapters of my books, books that I've been recording. And one of the ones for today um, is actually for referrals. And that is so incredibly important. If you want to know someone in the naturopathy field, hello, we've got Doc. If you want to know someone in Congan Water, we've got lots of team members and family members around this community, and certainly now globally, which is kind of fun um, also. And all of those things work together. And who wants to be top of mind? Reputation is so important. Um, are you good at what you do? Do you want to learn more? All of those things are incredible segues into the networking arena. And there's been some challenges. Um, I guess you would say we affectionately term uh, some people swoopers. And people swoop into an event, even on Zoom, by the way, um, you're not immune from uh, swoopers, even if you go on a social media platform, a tele platform, and they swoop in and tell you about their business and no reciprocation of any kind. Tell me about you. And you are so great at that, Doc. I have seen you in action on, on many groups and certainly many Zooms that we've done. As soon as someone gets on a Zoom and they, they don't know anybody or they've never been before, you are one of the first ones to reach out and actually ask about them. I love that. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Queenie. No, it's, and like you say, the, the swooper thing um, for me is irritating. <laughs> yeah. Um, because it is about getting to know that person. Um, and, you know, I, it, it's, it, and that's where I bring up the, I always, and here's a question for you actually on um, social media platforms, you know, what do you think friending means on a Facebook, you know, in a Facebook format, right? Is that person going to friend you because they want your business? Are they going to swoop or do they truly want to get to know you? You know, that, that, those kinds of questions. Um, I'm, I'm getting more, more of a stick. I'm more of a stickler on it. The more, because I've got, it, it's just like, I just want to get to know you first, you know? Um, and if possible, like you've seen, we, I go out to coffee with people. I love to get to to know who they are and where they've come from, listen to their story. We all have stories um, other than I'm such and such and I sell such and such, you know, I, I'm, I'm not interested if that's how you start off. And at least that's just me. I don't know how you handle that, but that's me. I am not interested in your business first and foremost. Yes, I really uh, but I think that's a beautiful way to say it too. Um, you've been networking for many years with other companies and now you actually network for your own business. Right. I'm sure that you've seen a big change in what it looks like to network when you're part of a company as far as a, an actual brick and mortar and network when you're entrepreneurial and people reach out random, shall we say, and they want to see if you're an easy target. So, right. and the right. answer is for me, it is seriously about relationships because I can look on and this, I actually do this. I call me a groupie, I guess, but I go through the Doc and Queenie, um, uh, page as far as who's on, who's actually a member of the group. And I go, oh my gosh. And I know exactly where I met them. And if I don't know them yet, I click to see who the mutual friends are and it's you. <laughs> so I go, yay. And then you go, who is this? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe I can get an intro to them from doc. And so it's, it's back to that same drill. It's a trust factor. Oh my gosh. That is such a big deal for me. And one of the social media ladies, I attend a lot of classes because uh, social media is kind of my thing. 
And one of the things that she has taught us, as soon as you say yes to a friend request on a social media platform, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter's a little different, but LinkedIn or even um, Facebook, sometimes even Instagram, when you have followers that way, they follow you kind of, you can't help it. But it's back to that same drill. She said, it's like opening the front door of your right. home. And how many people want to open the front door of their home and uh, to someone that they don't know, but if it's someone that they know through a referral or a friend, then you instantly go, oh my gosh, absolutely bring it on. So it really depends on the circumstance. Could you repeat that one more time? Because you cut out there and we, all I got on my end, and I don't know what people are seeing is I heard the front door. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Get out of the front door. <laughs> get out of the front door, Doc. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Yes, yeah, we got the front door. Say- <laughs> uh, one, one of the people who um, helps with social media, she's a great trainer, and I've attended a lot of her classes. And she has said, when you say yes to a friend request, someone that you didn't meet at a group or just a random person, so to speak, as soon as you say yes to a friend request, it's like opening the front door of your home. So that that put a different perspective on it for me, because, of course, I'm doing, oh, my gosh, let's all be friends. Isn't this cool? And she said, well, that's nice. But she said, then all of a sudden, your friends know that you now know this person and their network grows. And sometimes it's not a legitimate reason for it to grow. And so she said, be super careful about that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, um, I agree. I do have a uh, question and I know you can't check it this past seven days, but I see that gorgeous logo behind you for Mighty Morning Moment. Uh, yes. You obviously have followers. I believe you are now international. Is that true? Listeners on your podcast? Yes, yes, I am. I'm um, my highest poll right now, which cracks me up, is um, from Ireland, um, and then India, and Australia. Oh my gosh! In the UK, so that is so awesome. <laughs> so Ireland. So you know, whoever is out there from Ireland, we'd be happy to come and visit. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> we will check the temperature first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll see yeah, what I'm, climate looks like, and then we'll decide when we're going to come and see you. I'm not sure we would do well because it's always, my, I, I'm guessing it's blustery and always raining and cold, but I don't know. I've never been there, obviously. Well, so. yeah. And if we've got friends in Ireland, feel free to correct us because we'll go <laughs> on a sunny day. <laughs> but yeah, yes, I, uh, the last time I checked, which was over a week ago, I had almost 800 listens. Oh my gosh. And I've hit, um, trying to think of, uh, 72 podcasts since. Oh my God. Congratulations. Versus so since huge. March 24th. Did I get that right? You Please did. Okay. March yeah, 24th. I'm a, I'm a date girl. Numbers are my thing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, no, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. So how, how about you? Uh, let, let's start, you know, we always do a little plug. Um, how about if you tell people about your business and your books, if, somebody out there has no idea who this, this yeah. queenie, <laughs> who person, is this queenie is. person. Yeah. Um, my business is miracles with water. And that has always been for 13 years now, what I lead with, because that was obviously planted by God um, for changing the world one sip at a time, basically is how. We <laughs> say it. And it has been phenomenal. The people who he has put in our paths over the years um, I, I, I really am overwhelmed by referrals and I sent out a newsletter just to my water family, uh, I think yesterday, and already several of the water family want more machines because they're gifting them to some of their family members. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And it really, that's just how everything self-perpetuates. This has not been a season of doom and gloom for Congan water, by the way. And people are realizing not only the tax deduction, hello, when 2020 closes, amen, but tax deduction and the the benefits of drinking the water, the hand sanitizer that you don't have to buy that alcohol stuff. All of those things have been amazing. And then my books have been blessings on top of that. Um, Jesus has prompted each of them. And I usually go kicking and screaming and he's not good at hearing me say no. So the next thing you know. Networking on Steroids was born in 2012, and I've gotten to speak literally all over the country to different groups, and now I get to do things by Zoom. A girl from Colorado called and wanted me to do a gig in Kentucky, and she said, we're probably going to have to do this on on, uh, Zoom, 
platform. And I said, well, I've done Zoom a few times, so that'll probably work. And that was amazing to me. But they're booking now for March 2021, and they're anticipating things are still going to be shut down travel-wise. So now I get to speak in, uh, to a group in Kentucky, uh, national um, convention kind of thing. But I thought, oh my gosh, all because of the water business. And then the next book is A Grief Journey. And my coach at the time is Delinda. And she said, uh, you need to get this out there because people need to hear your story of homecoming instead of, again, doom and gloom, death and yikes. It's not like that uh, for me once you change your mindset a little bit. And then behind my antlers is my purple book. And that is the networking on steroids PQ. And you were around for that birthing doc when um, I told you, I said, I think Jesus is prompting me to do a book, how to network post quarantine. And you said, yep, it kind of sounds like that's where you're going. And the next thing you know, that was out in July. So it's phenomenal to me how he keeps putting the perfect people in my path. Hello, you. And one thing leads to another. And now we get to be on a platform like this to put people together and interview them in such a way that now they get to build their network. Right. And I have a YouTube channel. Uh, I had it limp limping along for actually many years. And now I'm up to 44 subscribers. Awesome. I know I'm excited about that. And once I get to 100, I get to uh, actually claim my own URL. So I'm Yay. closer and closer to that moment. So thank you to all of the subscribers to my incredible international <laughs> YouTube channel. And so that has been super fun too. It's I very cool. Seven behind you and how I miss green, 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 green. I know. Like, I know. Oh Those are gosh. pictures of my onion. My onions are actually, my chives are blooming. And if you look in the background, um, I grew some sweet potatoes for Queenie this year. The, the sweet pot potatoes are in the background. So you did. And yes, you definitely did. Yes. And next year we will grow more, but yeah. Yeah. Rev, Rev Doc 7 is my, um, my branding now. Um, I originally was beyond basic health, uh, but Rev Doc 7 seems to fit me and my personality a little bit better. Um, I'm an ordained minister, so I can bury you and marry you. Not exactly in that order, please. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm an avid gardener um, and I, I love, I just, you know, this weather just drives me crazy because I can't be outside. Um, but it, you know, it's 26 degrees, so you will not find me outside. Maybe going for a walk, maybe. I thought about it this morning and I was like, yeah, I don't feel like freezing. Um, uh, but basically I'm a naturopathic practitioner and uh, I help people with everything surrounding their health. I educate and I speak about health. And I also too have a, a YouTube channel, which is RevDoc7. And um, I put lots of different things on there. My background, actually my original background, Queenie, I think I've told you this is in graphic design. So I'm having more fun with the little mini videos and the pictures and all of that. Um, and half the time I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm supposed to be talking about health and not having fun with the camera. But, <laughs> but, but that's uh, the part I think for me is so endearing because some of these gorgeous things behind me are some of the things that you've actually grown and gifted me um, in your garden and garlic is one of my all time favorite, favorite, favorite in the whole entire world. I love um, actually roasting it in olive oil and just, oh my gosh, the house reeks and probably so do I, but I don't care. I love garlic. It's and your cool. videos have been spontaneous and fun as well as educational. Yeah, I, I, I love, I just love, I love life. I love what I'm doing, you know, and I know you do too. And um, that's part of our connection too. And if we can spread that to people. You know, oh my gosh, absolutely. Uh, that so matters. Five five minutes not to be serious and just have fun or smile or, you know, do something you like, you know, um, because life is too short. It's just too short. So you didn't tell me that we needed to be serious today because I wore my antlers. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to deflect that. I'm wearing my serious Santa hat. <laughs> yeah, and you're doing a great job too. I know. And that is so fun. Um, tell us again, how are we going to find your podcast? Because I, now that you've got your phone back, we're hoping to get a podcast or two in the offing in the next couple of weeks. So I know you've got a lot that you're working on, but I certainly miss the mighty morning moment. Well, let's see mighty morning moment. Of course, I'm looking for the background, but it, I am, I am on anchor. I am on, um, Apple podcasts. I'm on Spotify and there's probably six or seven other formats out there. Google has a format. And I want to say, I think it's Google podcast. And I apologize. 
they keep changing the list and I keep looking at it and I'm, you know, I usually post them on my Facebook page, either through my business or personal oh. Instagram. And I use the anchor, but you can also go to my website because that has the YouTubes that also has the podcast. Oh, okay. And, and all of that information. And now I'm waiting for my computer to follow me, but you can yeah. <laughs> RevDoc7.com. Um, and that's, that tells you, <clears throat> excuse me, everything about my business, where I'm coming from, the YouTube, the Instagrams, you know, the, the podcast through Anchor. So that is so awesome. And imagine with websites, um, you can have your LinkedIn link, your YouTube channel link, your Facebook link, all of those things. And I'm doing, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and then more people are going I just to like me. this and it goes right over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, quite a learning curve for 13 years. <laughs> oh, it's well, it's just for me in the past couple of years that I've been in business. It's been a learning curve of just, you know, and there's there's a way to do your posts and there's a way not to do your posts. And, you know, and you're just like, oh, just want to. So so I, I resort to very simplistic if anybody sees a lot of my personal posts, you know, here's a flower. It's 20 degrees out. Let's just look at this flower from this summer, shall we? <laughs> Does it make you feel good? Good. I've been successful. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, that's one of those things I love so much. That really is great. And I think about that a lot because you have grown so much with your RevDoc7 and the reach and the people that you know and the events that you've done. I know that it's going to be um, an interesting pivotal season as far as some of the uh, vendor events and, and the shows that usually happen in the in, in at Christmas time for people. Do you have any of those type of events coming up or any that you're attending? Um, well, other than the bingo, you know, you mean outside of Doc Queenie? Uh -huh. um, you know, right now I'm in the middle of some intensive book writing. Um, and I'm almost, oh, done. wow. So uh, my focus has been a little off. <laughs> so, uh, that I'm is not, really awesome. I'm not exactly sure at this point, but, um, oh, there you go. I like that brick wall that, Thank that you. makes your antlers, that makes your antlers look that much more pretty queen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I yeah. mean, I had to put our mascots out <laughs> we're always talking about stuff, but. And you know what? Me. That's a good point. I wonder if the mommy of the mascots needs us to come to Florida immediately. <laughs> and she would probably be saying yes right now. Um, as long as, of course, I always have my, my disclaimer. She has to take me fishing and, and you don't like worms or fishing. So you go your way and I'll go mine. <laughs> I'll take care of the kitties while you guys go do that yucky stuff. Yeah, yeah Dave and Larry are mascots. Um, and Dave is Queenie's and Larry is mine, but no, as far as to answer you, to swing around and answer your question, um, right now I've been a little distracted and then just, you know, having no phone. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be playing catch up here in the next couple of weeks. And before we know it, it'll be Christmas time. Oh my gosh, isn't that the truth? And you're literally, as soon as we get to your birthday, December 14th, Monday at high noon, um, and then December 15th is bingo at seven central time. And then think about that 10 days from our bingo party is literally going to be Christmas. And I know some of the lady, the people in our uh, Doc and Queenie group community are doing vendor shows in person. And some people have tried to do, or are doing, pardon me, vendor shows online. And it's gonna be an entirely different format this year. And I understand that, but it's back to that same thing that we've been talking about. Supporting small business is so right. important because where would we be without the entrepreneurs in our lives? And certainly the network in our world and the top of mind and all those things that we love to chat about as far as the Doc and Queenie community. Right. Yeah. Oh, and, and it's, you know, and you were saying which ones that I, I don't, I, I kind of like when there is a show, I'll go on and look around, but yes, uh, you know, and, and, then, and, and, to, and weren't you telling me, speaking of the social media game, um, when you say you're going or you're interested, I mean, that's, that's a tag that yes. um, helps you know, whatever the logarithm is that we can't figure out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch parties. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Watch parties is a good one. Tagging and liking yes. and going, you know, and of course follow up and go, <laughs> but, oh, um, yeah. but that doesn't know. matter. You're exactly right. As soon as you put yourself out there, so to speak, and somebody has an event and then somebody does a watch party and then somebody literally does a Facebook live from the event 
think about that reach. And that has been, again, when people say, oh my gosh, you're everywhere. Well, I'm not necessarily everywhere, but I love to promote the people. When I go to an event, I love to promote the event for the person hosting it. And it really does change the algorithm. And you're exactly right, Doc. That that back and forth chatter, banter, even that, that people are doing on social media really does matter as far as their business success. And I've seen it personally. Oh, I right. miss people. Yes, that was the summertime, actually, wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. No <laughs> coats, a little bit tan. Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> yes. Hot out. Yeah, no, it's, it's, um, I do a lot of reading. And when you, when you, read success stories what is the big piece that people that are very successful they give themselves to others they are constant constantly edifying others and lifting others up yes and that's part of the success because you can't do it by yourself and swooping you know um in my opinion of course those are all my opinions so. but it's so but it really is though it's it's so incredibly true um the the people that we meet the events that happen, and quite frankly, um, we can do another plug and a shout out for uh, dear Michelle Cruz. She is having her Ladies of Justice event this week. And I happen to know personally, uh, her two sponsors happen to be Dr. Laura Christine with Beyond Basic Health Rev Doc 7. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and moi with the water business. And it really is um, ladies of justice, Michelle's an ambassador and she literally, she's able to speak all over the Midwest about ladies of justice and legal shield and ID shield. And it's so incredible. Again, where did we meet? How did we meet? Yeah. And you think that, how did you meet or where did you go? Or where was the first time networking? And it just, it's so important. And then the, another thing for the algorithm you were mentioning, if somebody makes a post and you chime in, it took a lot of effort actually for them to say, I like you this, or thank you for that, or I appreciate this, respond back again. Mm -hmm. and you respond and thank them. And it literally keeps that going again, ranking you to the top and certainly the person doing the event. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me with those sailboats. Where is that? That's in Key West. That's oh gosh. Dog. So, I know. Oh. <laughs> I was sitting right on the water's edge drinking a rum runner. <laughs> I'm sure it was a healthy rum runner, right? I'm sure. I'm sure it was healthy somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure the I'm sure the sugar cane they used for the rum was organic at one time. You know what? I I, I knew that you would have an answer for that one. Uh, on the rum runner topic, I hate to say this, but we are already out of time, which I can't. Time to run. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So on the rum runner topic, why don't you take us home, Doc? <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. We so appreciate you being here today and joining us on Doc and Queenie at high noon. Uh, give us a like on our, our web, our Facebook live webpage um, and check out uh, Queenie's YouTube um, channel at Kathy Weaver KC and RevDoc7 is my YouTube and Kathy Weaver's KC.com is her website if you need to know more about water. If you, need to new, if you need to know more about naturopathy, I'm at RevDoc7.com. And we so appreciate and are honored that you guys are a part of our- Absolutely. Yeah, we certainly are. And thank you guys so much. This will be fun. And stay tuned to the Doc and Queenie group page because we've got some cool stuff coming up this week that we're not going to tell you. Yes, yes, ma'am. So we will talk to you later. Take care. Thanks, Queenie. Thank you, Doc. Have a great day. Enjoy your new phone. Thank you. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.